right now everyone can see this nerve so this is the brachialis this is the brachioradialis in between this portion is the radial nerve so what we have to find out see this is a hypoechoic dot at this point this is the hypoechoic dot at this point so these are the branches of the radial nerve we are again coming to that portion where where we can clearly see the branches of the radial nerve okay so in fact i can see three branches so one could be a superficial or muscular branch given now as we are going in okay so still we have one nerve which is moving over the supinator is just about to start and one nerve is moving over the supinator okay see one nerve is moving above the supinator and the other one see now follow it is entering the supinator see one nerve i have shown previously moving over the supinator see so these are two nerves one is here remember these are small branches so they could be muscular branches one is going here and one is going here but this branch is moving over the supinator this branch okay so this is the superficial branch which is moving over the supinator now to understand the pin we have to follow the other one sure. see again i am back to the radial nerve and i am coming down as i am coming down again over the supinator there are two branches one branch moving over the supinator clearly so this is the superficial branch follow the other branch here is the other branch okay just below the yellow dot try to follow so this other branch is actually entering now it has entered yes this nerve is basically entering the supinator just below the yellow dot try to follow the nerve that is entering the supinator so this is the area where we have to look for this nerve for the dilatation because this is a potential area where when it is entering through the arcade of froche it could be possibly entrapped at this point clear the nerve now to see this nerve more beautifully what we can do we are holding it here and we are rotating the probe 90 degree okay so once rotating the probe 90 degree we can see the nerve entering stop so we can see this nerve in a longitudinal view see this is the hypoechoic area that is the nerve that is entering through the supinator so if there is suppose a dilatation at this point okay so that could be a possible cause of entrapment at this point okay so we have to check for the clinical symptoms as well as for the nerves anatomy as well so remember <clears throat> this is a very good test to find out the supinator syndrome and there could be associated with the pain especially with the pronation and the supination of the hand so i think this part is clear to you